Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create check constraint on single column in SQL Server table by using naming convention. So think uh, you are working as a developer and uh, you need to create the check constraint, but you need to follow some naming convention. First, uh, we are going to create uh, the check constraint without any naming convention and see or observe what uh, name uh, SQL Server does provide to the check constraints so when we do not provide the name. Then we are going to use our own name in standard and create the check constraint. So first of all, what is a check constraint? So check constraints limit the values that are accepted by one or more columns. So once you have the check constraint on a column, it will always check the values according to the rule or the expressions you have written for a check constraint. If it is true, it will let the record insert, otherwise it will fail the record. So if you will not be able to insert that record if check constraint return you the false evaluation. So here I'm creating a, a table called DBO customer. I have a first name, last name and street address. They are watch are 100 and I'm saying not null. Let's accept as null as well it doesn't really matter by your choice if you need to create the column with not null uh, leave this one as a not null otherwise uh, uh, have it null so here last name can be null we do not say not null and uh, then I'm creating check constraint so check and I'm saying for F name first name not like and percentage percentage A to Z not uh, equal, uh, equal to A to Z so what this expression is doing or a rule is doing it is the uh, telling uh, you can only accept uh, the characters uh, they are from A to Z. So that's that's the check constraint we are creating for a uh, first name. Uh, and uh, as you know that uh, watch our, uh, we have here data of watch our 100 and F name, watch our can accept any string. So let's say if I will create this table and uh, let me first uh, create without a uh, check constraint here for you. So you will see what I'm talking about. If I will go ahead and uh, create this table let's create customer now if I will say insert into you see that here I have inserted into table then I'm inserting Amir 4 so this is not 4 is not a right uh, name so Amir is a correct name but uh, I have a number in front of it maybe mistyped or something so but uh, SQL server is not going to stop uh, so it will accept uh, the name as it is so now you see that we have we were able to successfully insert uh, the number four with the name because it is uh, treating them as a string and in the string you can have anything let's say you have this sign you can have this sign or any other characters beside even a to z so you want to go ahead and uh, create something like that like a check constraint on a column and say only accept a to z i do not want the special characters in the name i do not want the numbers in the name so that's where you will be creating uh, those uh, constraints uh, to limit uh, the values uh, that you want to insert. So by doing this one, we are saying only let the values insert from A to Z characters. No other value should be going in the first name. That's great. Let me drop this table real quick. Table. Now we drop the table and here is uh, we are uh, creating the check constraint. I can do the same thing. Let me copy this part and I can go ahead and create the same uh, constraint for let me paste and I can say check close this one here and then uh, need to have a comma here sorry and then uh, I will say last name so I'm also creating uh, the check constraint on first name and the last name and I want the every time somebody try to insert the values it should always uh, uh, lie between uh, A to Z no other characters are accepted no numbers are accepted so let's go ahead and create this table and you see that uh, we were able to successfully create uh, two constraints um, so now if we are interested to see what names are given to those uh, constraints in SQL Server? We can use uh, select asterisk from information schema dot check constraint view. So let's run that, and it will give us information. So you see that here, it is saying uh, your database name is Tech Brother IT. The, the uh, schema is DBO, and constraint name is uh, this one. 
and this is the check rule so or check clause or value whatever you will say or check logic you see that this is the name sql server has given to our check constraint but that might not be the uh, according to the naming convention or standards of our company we might uh, have something different uh, we might like to have a chk underscore schema name underscore table name underscore column name and maybe also the value sometimes say okay a to z that will tell you uh, a to z only so you might you might want to have something like this for your constraint name so you would understand right away from your constraint on which table it is which which schema is used which column and which logic is used so it totally depends on you what name and convention you have for your company and now before even we go ahead and drop this and recreate this with our exact name i would like to test this um, uh, check constraints so, so if i will try to insert the value in dbo customer for the first name i am trying to insert amir 4 there is a number with amir so it means it will not pass this check so if i will try to insert now you will see what happened it is saying the insert statement conflicted with the check constraint so this is the name of the check constraint and the conflict occurred in tech brothers database table dbo customer and column f name now let's remove this part as we have check constraint on um, last name and now i added an extra character here so if i will run this one now we should get the error for the last name and you can see that this is the check constraint and this is the column where we are getting the error okay so check constraint is working properly but the only thing we want to do we want to give some proper name let me drop this table let's drop this table and now we go and recreate this table so you see that use the tech brothers we are just saying create this dbo customer table f name worker 100 last name worker 100 street address okay watcher 250 and here you will say constraint once you say it's constraint then you will be providing the name according to the uh, your company standards and the rest of that part is going to be exactly the same so you see that check first name not like this one so this is what you will do and if you want to create the same thing on the other one let's say comma and now we will copy the whole thing from here and paste it here okay so this is closed and we don't need this let's see and here we say we can say uh, last name and then now uh, we say last name sorry L name and uh, we can go ahead and execute now the table is created successfully now if we go ahead and check uh, the information schema dot check constraint view we should get uh, our constraint names and you can see that they, they are created the name we have provided so it is very important and sometimes companies have standard for your store procedure names for your view names table names schema names database names and I recommend following those standards whatever you have in your company if you don't have even a standard document I would recommend going on Google search what is the best or what are the standards for the uh, naming uh, for uh, SQL Server objects. Uh, maybe read five or 10 documents and consolidate, consolidate them or put together and get the summary. Okay, this is the best practices people are using it and this is how we should name it. And very common things are like such as uh, we should not have the space uh, between the names of the databases or the objects. Uh, we should not be using numbers uh, uh, in, the, in, the, in the database names or table names and all that, uh, with special characters and all that. So you can uh, start uh, reading those documents. There are tons of people who has put those uh, standards uh, uh, on the Google like what should be the naming convention what works best for them and all that read a few of the documents and uh, learn that and then create always uh, those objects uh, with the proper naming convention instead uh, you let SQL server decide the name for your object uh, thanks very much for watching this video the scripts will be available on techbrothersit.com I will put the link in the description so you can copy and paste and uh, test and try out Thanks and I will see you guys in the next video.